So the next piece is pertaining to projectile motion. So projectile motion was when we, all those classic questions where we say a firework explodes in the sky at the maximum height, or um, Tommy is kicking a ball off of a cliff. When does the ball hit the ground? And it always gives us um, a pretty big equation that we have to be able to find. So there's really three different types here. When does something hit the ground? When does something reach its maximum height? What is that maximum height? And then lastly, maybe when does something reach a specific height? So I'm going to go through each of those pretty quickly here. Uh, let's just make up an equation. Let's say that we're um, maybe shooting a uh, firework um, off at 4th of July, and our firework uh, follows the following equation. The, might, the equation on the test question might be in a, with a T. You can just use X and, and then Y. So maybe uh, the equation is negative 16x squared plus 32x and uh, maybe plus 5. Okay, so you can see here that our um, parabola is already graphed. You can uh, kind of get an idea of what it looks like. And the first question might be, um, when does that parabola reach its maximum height? Okay, so there's two pieces to this. If you're trying to figure out when that firework is going to explode, the maximum height of something always occurs at the vertex. You always want to make sure that you can find your vertex in order to be able to find the maximum height. So we've already covered that. So this would actually be quite easy. All you'd have to do is click on your vertex. And so now what we know, given this point, our point there was 1, 21, given we, this point right here, what that means is that our point, 1, 21, means it's going to get to a maximum height after one second, and then that maximum height is going to be 21 feet, right? So that's what that vertex is really saying, is that after one second, it's going to reach the maximum height. So it took off from our platform, rose uh, all the way up to here, one second it reached its maximum height, explodes in the sky and then start and then reaches that 21 uh, excuse me 21 feet so that will be our maximum height question but what if i'm asking you when does it hit the ground so if i'm asking you when does some when does um maybe it's the debris of the firework comes back down to the ground when does it hit the ground really what i'm asking for there is i'm asking for a solution so our solutions or back here, not the first one, because this would be essentially negative time, our solutions are going to be where it hits the ground. So in this case, our solution is the point um, 2.1, let's see what that was again, 2.146 comma 0, 2.146 comma 0. That's our solution. So if that's our solution, what does that mean? That means that it hits the ground, it hits the ground in 2.146 seconds. So when we were asking you how long before the debris of the firework returns to the ground and hits the ground, that's going to be 2.146 seconds. The last question that we could ask you would pertain to a specific height. Maybe we want the firework to explode at two different times. So maybe we want the firework to explode on its way up and then um, reach a maximum height and or maybe on the way down. Maybe it reaches the maximum height and returns, whatever the scenario might be. Maybe we want to know when does it get to, um, let's just say, 15 feet. When does our uh, projectile reach 15 feet? Well, this one's going to be pretty interesting. All we have to do here is we actually have to type in the equation y equals 15. So whatever the um, actual specific height is, if we're asking for 15 feet, then we type in 15. If we were asking for 10 feet, then we would type in, down here we'd say y equals 10. Whatever that might be, we plug in that number as a y equals. And then here's the part that's very important to remember. You're going to see that that blue line, the, the firework, intersects with a new green line, in this particular case, at that y equals 10. So, and notice that it intersects two times. 
and that's because it reaches 50, uh, 10 feet on the way up. So our rocket is going, our firework is increasing here. It reaches that 10 feet on the way up after 0 0.171 seconds. And then it also, after it reaches the very, very top, comes back down and it reaches that 10 feet again after 1.8 seconds. So here we're reaching that 10 feet at on the way down is typically when we're asking at 1.8 seconds. So obviously my y coordinate there is 10 because we want our height to be 10. So this is important. Our third type of projectile motion is when does something reach a specific height? So make sure, just as a reminder, whatever that specific height is, type in as an equation simply y equals that number. So what if I ask when does it get to a height of 25 feet? And you look at your equation and you say, well, it doesn't get to a height of 25 feet. That would be a, an appropriate answer as well. You can visually see that our blue parabola is not reaching the green specific height of 25 feet. So that would be our answer there is it doesn't reach a height of 25 feet. So again, our maximum height occurs at the vertex. Our when does it hit the ground occurs at the point where that crosses the x-axis, the x-intercept, the zero, the root, the solution, and then a specific height, you would type in that specific number, in this case, 10 feet. And we see where those two lines intersect. Click on the gray dot where they intersect with each other.